what's going on guys, it's that time of month again where we get our box of geekiness. Um, yeah, so my geek box has literally just arrived in the post. Uh, so this is March's geek box and it's anniversaries and landmarks. And I don't know if that's actually going to be any good or interesting, but I got it anyway because it's my, uh, my monthly subscription box. Um, so yeah, this is the t-shirt from last month, which was Sidekicks, I think. So it's Build a Sidekick. Um, so yeah, last month's t-shirt, out of the way, let's get into this box. So, like I said, I don't know what I'm expecting from this, if it's going to be any good or not. Um, to be honest, I wasn't as pumped for this one as I normally am um, for my geek boxes, so it is what it is. But let's, uh, this is tough. Come on. There we go. Oh, It's not very heavy. So, um, yeah, I'm not expecting great things, because heavy stuff is usually good. But, first on top of the box, we've got a t the t-shirt for this month. So, it is. It is, it is, it is. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> That's got nothing to do with landmarks. Or anniversary. It might have something to do with anniversaries, but uh, I don't know. So, this is the t-shirt. I don't really know what's going on. It's got like a Pac-Man ghost, but not a Pac-Man ghost. And like a lightsaber plugged into whatever the hell that is. So, yeah, not too impressed with the t-shirt. That's a great start. Um, okay, next on top of the box we have a giant Krabby Patty gummy candy from Spongebob. So, yeah. A sweet, which I could probably get in my shop for like 10p. That's not a... Uh, not great, but anyway, moving on. There's there's really not a lot in this box, guys. It's, I'm not not too impressed. Okay, so next we've got Airheads, which is another bar of candy or sweet. So that's, that's cherry flavor Airheads. I don't think this video is going to be very long, to be honest, guys. Um, <laughs> okay. Next is. Um, I don't actually know. Create your own superhero toy with included two sticker art packs and action accessories. A mini Wolverine money. So I don't actually get what this is, but it's Wolverine from Marvel, as you can see. And you get a little plain yellow figure, which you can, uh, what it says on the box, you can draw on money, you can paint on money. Use pens, pencils, or markers on money, or you can turn money into Wolverine with stickers and accessories and let Wolverine money flex his adamantium might. You might, uh, with Marvel Money World, you can do whatever you want. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get the trusty old knife back and get into this and actually see what it is, because I don't actually know. Never even heard of these. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> He's literally got two claws. And that's it, that's the only accessories you get. So, you get... Well, it looks like clothes, like clothes stickers. So you got his eyes, I'm guessing, and there's a belt. So I'm guessing that's for his legs. Anything else on this card? Nope, that's legit. That's kind of, it's kind of like... um. Sort of polystyrene feel. And on here you've got some other weird stuff. I don't actually know what any of that is. There's like a Canadian belt with a Canadian flag on. Some pants or maybe chest armor. Some more eyes. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know. Um, okay. Come on. There we go. Packaging is really loud and hard. There we go. Let's get it all out. Why not? There you go. So this is a little yellow figure with poseable arms. Um, with absolutely no facial features at all. And you've got these little claws, little plastic claws, so you can clip into his hands, I'm imagining. Like so. Let's get it in there. Come on. 
There we go. So the, it's, it's rubbish. It's really rubbish. Wow, let's stick some eyes on him. Just for the bowls to make so try and make this video a little bit longer. Um oh got one to fall on the floor. Okay, so let's peel this off. So here's one eye, I'm thinking. So we stick that sort of where his eye is supposed to go. I'm guessing there. But I don't think. Okay, so we have one eye. Let's get a second one. Alright, peel that off. Stick his other eye on. Around about there. I reckon. That looks equal. Okay. He has two eyes. His head's also poseable as well, but yeah. Anyway, not not really impressed with that, guys. Um, okay, that's probably the biggest thing in the box. It's from KidRobot.com. If you want to get one, head to that website and buy one. But don't know why you would. Anyway, next in the box is a Captain America collectible figurine. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not into uh, not into Captain America. If I could have had any, I'd probably had um, Iron Man to be fair, or Spider Man. They're probably my two favourite Marvel characters, but uh, yeah. She wasn't DC. If it's DC, it could be Batman. That'd be amazing, but never mind. So that's next in the box. That's okay. That's, that's probably worth, you know, a fair few pounds. It doesn't actually say how much it costs, but um, yeah, I should imagine that's probably one of the most expensive things. I should imagine this, as crappy as it seems, is quite expensive. Um, I don't actually know. Because like I said, I've never actually seen them before. But anyway, I might check them out online just to see how much they are. I'm curious. Um, and then last in the box. Oh no, no. Tell a lie, there's two more things. Um, okay, it seems I have a Doctor Who style thing. It seems it's like a birthday card. As well as a comic. I don't really know. So let's, let's get it out because nobody in my family is going to want or friends is going to want a uh, Doctor Who card. So let's get it out. Come on. Right. I'm really not a fan of Doctor Who, but I suppose they've got to cater for everybody. Okay, so. It's got a happy birthday, like that, like, a, like it's a natural card, like a birthday card. And then you get into it, and it's got prepare for landing on planet birthday, birthday, and then it's got like a comic and games and puzzles and more comic stuff, and then have a brilliant day, and then that folds out to reveal more comic and coloring fun. Yeah, so that's crap. Um, we also got the envelope to, to to give it to someone if they want it, but yeah, whatever. And stickers, so. Shit. Really, really shit. And the boxes just fell down. Great. Oh, and we got Doctor Who book as well. So, fantastic. What has this got to do with anniversaries and landmarks? I swear. Am I getting this right? What was last month's video? Anniversaries and landmarks. I've got the book down here somewhere. There. there. Oh, is this last month's? Yeah, February. So, this is February's book. And by the way, we didn't get a book in this March's one, so that's already suckish. Um, I quite like these books because I like to uh, go through them and see what's what and what's going on in the world of geeky stuff. But yeah, so this is last month's book, February's book, and on the back, my Geekbox, one year of Geekbox. So this this is the one year anniversary of Geekbox, and this is rubbish, to be fair. I'm really not impressed. So yeah, anniversaries and landmarks. Uh, we're celebrating anniversaries and landmarks, and... Um, to be fair, I don't think any of this is anniversaries or la uh, landmarks. So, so what's this got to do with anything? Is is there an anniversary of Doctor Who or anniversary of Marvel or? Uh, as for landmarks, they've got nothing. I mean, Captain America. It's got America in the name. That may be a landmark. The Crowley Patty. What's that got to do with anything? And this. What is this? Honestly, 
Why am I mad? This, this, this is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Anyway, guys, enough of me moaning about this crappy, crappy box. Um, but yeah, guys, so I will stay subscribed to Geekbox even after this big, massive flop. I can't tell you, unfortunately, what next month is going to be because I don't have a clue. Like I just showed you on that book, it says last month, uh, next month is going to be whatever. This month, I don't. Maybe they're cancelling Geekbox, maybe they're stopping doing it because it's just such crap. Uh, to be honest, I don't think they're going to do that because it is a good moneymaker um, for them. So, yeah, I'll stay subscribed because uh, I just want to upload these videos every month for you guys because it's, it's actually, you know, pretty interesting just to get these boxes in the post every month and see uh, what we're going to get. It's just it's just a nice little exciting thing uh, to the middle of the month. And then towards the end of the month, if you haven't uh, seen my one of my latest unboxing videos, is uh, in my uh, on my channel. If you could check that out, that was really good. That was um, a Zavi box. Uh, it's called, what's it called? Zavi? A Z box. It's called Z box. That was pretty good. That was to do with zombies. And I've subscribed. Uh, um, I've bought the um, other one. That's not a subscription service at the moment. I wasn't sure if it was. Uh, so I tweeted at Z box, I think it is. And I asked him, is it a subscription service or is it a service which you just pay per box? And it's actually a pay per box, which is good because. If you don't like the theme of the box that's coming, you don't have to have it. You don't have to waste time subscribing and unsubscribing from the boxes. Whereas with Geekbox and Loot Crate and stuff like that, you do have to subscribe. Um, so it's good that you don't have to subscribe to the um, Z Box. And I don't think I could say the word subscribe any more than I just did in one sentence. Um, so yeah, so I've got the Z Box coming. I think the theme is retro. So it's, gonna, it's got like Pac-Man and Sonic and sort of gaming stuff related on the uh, website. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. I hope you guys do are too. Um, so subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you towards the end of the month I think it comes. So yeah, Z-Box will probably be my next unboxing video. And I can't wait. Hopefully it's going to be a lot better than this rubbish. And yeah. So subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.